However, I'm now joined from Exeter by the former Culture Secretary Ben Bradshaw, who worked as a BBC journalist before becoming a Labour MP, and in the studio by the media executive David Elstein, the former head of Channel 5. Let's start with you, Ben Bradshaw. Uh, this reduction business, bad idea? Well, I think we have to take Tim Davey on his word that it was on legal advice, but it does show us, doesn't it? Uh, the extent uh, of what BBC uh, news executives were saying about each other uh, that they weren't allowed to print. Uh, and it doesn't really tell us anything we didn't already know from the original Pollard uh, review, which was this was a, an organisation which was in chaos, it was very badly led, uh, it was dysfunctional, uh, it let uh, the viewers, listeners down, it also let it own, its own staff down. Now, we're both old BBC colleagues, uh, Ben Bradshaw, uh, but unlike you, I wasn't uh, culture secretary. What do you think is necessary to change the management culture of the BBC? Well, I'm not an expert in management culture or, or how to manage organisations, but Pollard was very, very clear and very specific in his criticisms of the BBC. Too many tiers of management, no one taking responsibility, no proper leadership, and a culture of backbiting and buck passing. Now, that has to change, and the new Director General, Tony Hall, has a massive job of work to do. This report today shows that in order to restore the public's confidence in BBC news management, but also the confidence of the staff, the morale of the staff, and I know everyone says this every few years that BBC mm. staff morale is at rock bottom. It really is at rock bottom as a result of this, and the, still the failure of the organisation to get a grip. OK, let me turn to David Elstein. I've just given you the wonderful job of running the BBC. You ran Channel 5 before. How are you going to change the BBC culture? Well, uh, Ben is quite right that um, the culture is uh, driven uh, by empires, by silos, by uh, places where people can hide. And it's, it's a know-nothing um, mentality. But I, I have to... Mark Thompson said, nobody bothered to tell me what was in uh, the Savile report. For nine months, he sat there as Director General. He didn't ask and nobody told right. him. But you ran a company, uh, Channel 5, that had 220 employees. The BBC has more than 20,000. Isn't that what happens in very large bureaucracies, whether you like it or not? It, it can happen. But what happened here was an extreme accident. Basically, um, when Mark Thompson allowed his deputy, Mark Byford, to go, um, largely in pursuit of reducing the costs of management, uh, what he lost was a safety valve. And Helen Bowden, the head of news, who is primarily responsible for everything that went wrong here, um, freely admits that when Mark Byford was there, she looked after the journalism, he looked after the corporate mm -hmm. affairs side. So what happened here was that Helen Bowden failed to tell George Entwistle, the head of mm -hmm. television, and Mark Thompson, the head of the BBC, what was in the Savile Report. And that's why they put out the tribute programmes, which were... Uh, the worst thing that right. happened okay. in this whole business. Let me turn to, turn to Ben Bradshaw. Ben Bradshaw, 27 senior managers, more than the Politburo in China, people not talking to each other. Sounds a bit like a Labour cabinet, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's much bigger than the Labour cabinet. But look, actually, the BBC is getting smaller. They're cutting uh, people. I don't think this is necessarily a problem of size. It's just a problem of leadership. And I think if, if Tony Hall has to do one thing, he must bring in, as a new head of news, some from, someone from outside. There's far too much shuffling around of people within the BBC. No one's paid for this fiasco with their job, as far as I can yeah. see. And I think, as far as the public are concerned, that's just not acceptable. Right. OK. Well, so, so, beyond that, you, you have to break up the news. Okay. Vision. It's too big but for its good, it's too big for our good. Finally, and very briefly, David Elstein, should anyone have been fired and are things actually getting better now? Well, four people should have lost their jobs and in the real world would have but lost their jobs. are things getting better now? It's hard to say. Uh, the BBC has suffered a severe shock. Tony Hall is Mr Comfort mm -hmm. and he will bring them some sucker. Uh, but changing that structure is just as important as changing that culture. OK, you didn't want the job. OK, fine. No, David you. Elstein, Ben Bradshaw, thank you very much indeed.